Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, everybody. I'm your girl, Brad Tat Tat, and this is the hot spot where we bring you music, movies, and more. So let's get off into it. Summer Walker wants to know what's classified as R&B music, a comment that comes after she lost in several categories during the 2020 Amaze. The Section 32 singer missed out on a chance to win favorite R&B album and favorite female R&B artist in favor of Beyonce Knowles Carter, who also won favorite R&B song. Well, I feel like if Beyonce's in any category, most likely she's probably going to win. Um, uh, while seemingly talking about the AMAs and how they organize their categories, Summer Walker said, what is classified as R&B sounds so different in 2022 compared to back in the day. These R&B awards be won by pop songs, uh, hip-hop songs, house songs. She said, it's really interesting. She said, thank goodness for my fans, LMAO. Y'all are the only ones going to give a girl some credit. So Summer Walker was nominated in the Best Album category for her work on Still Over It, which had the album uh, The Best Opening Week for the female R&B artist since Beyonce's Lemonade in 2016, according to uh, Billboard 200. All right, y'all, moving on. Reps for the American Music Awards re- released a statement on why Chris Brown's Michael Jackson tribute uh, was scrapped. In a statement to E.T., Dick Clark Productions president Adam Stosky said, live shows change all the time. It's just a nature of the business. Unfortunately, this element of the AMAs didn't come together as we couldn't align on the performance. No fault to Chris Brown. Meanwhile, ABC declined to comment. It is also being reported that Jesse Collins and Stephen Hill, who executive produced the AMAs, pushed the network to give Chris a chance to perform, mm. but the performance was never presented to the head execs at ABC. So once ABC really? Entertainment President Craig Eric and Rob Mills, the head of Alternative Specials, found out, they pulled the plug worried about chris and michael jackson's reputations wow (laughs) so when are they they gonna get to do it i don't know but they definitely need to give him a tribute but the amas is gone now and it don't come back till next year so maybe they'll do something on abc but you know after that thing that came out about michael jackson that documentary that scarred him real bad as well they made him like such a drug addict and i I just it 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 ticked me off so bad so it's like now Michael Jackson's image is completely tarnished and then they trying to hold on to what Chris Brown did too like people can't change like I hate this but let's talk about some white people Todd and Julie (laughs) Chrisley received sentences in their tax evasion case yesterday now a week after their son Grayson was injured in a car crash the pair will serve a cumulative 19 years in prison yes Todd has been sentenced to 12 years and 16 months probation while Julie was sentenced to seven years and 16 months probation as well. Damn. Prosecutors wrote in a memorandum last week, the jury's unanimous verdict sets the record straight. Todd and Julie Chrisley are career swindlers who have made a living by jumping from one fraud and... <laughs> Sound like somebody else we from know. From one fraud scheme to another line to bank stiffing vendors and evading taxes at every corner. So Chrisley don't know best. And you okay? know who else that sounds like, Rick? <laughs> Who? Trump. You know who else did the exact same thing? Donald Trump. <laughs> Ain't that yeah, something? Yeah, absolutely. Ain't that so they something. so they managed to get Todd Chrisley off the streets, but uh, oh man, Donald and he Trump. He's a free man running for president. Donald running Trump president. did the exact same thing. Had the White House ramshackle. He did it times <laughs> ten. Running for president. Boy, I tell and you, his boy. Twitter account back open. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they ain't messing with that orange. Wow. They ain't messing with that orange. Okay. It they must be it must be good to have that privilege. God wow. Right. Well, we're going to wrap up the hot spot on that. But uh, coming up next, we got Yonetta Springs, y'all. We're talking out Tuesday. And we got the praise mixed down. The time now is 27 minutes before the top of the hour. It's the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. 